Pastor Zeus? Pastor Zeus? Good morning. Well, hello there, Natasha. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you. My, my, my. Am I surprised to see you and blessed. I have no idea how surprised I am that I came here finally, and I'm so happy about that. I think it's a good thing for me. So you thought about what I had to say? Yep. And I really want to thank you for that. I feel the energy just goes through me. It's such a good feeling. So tell you what, why don't we sit down and have a little talk? Yeah, that would be great. Sounds good to you? Yes. All right. Do you have any water by chance? I'm kind of thirsty. <laughs> well, I don't have any water around, Natasha. But have you ever happened to try the blood of Christ? No. Well, here you go. Now, it's just a 2007 Merlot, but it'll get you where I need you to be. So tell me, Natasha, how often are you stripping down there at that shotgun willies? Pretty often. Pretty often? Mm-hmm. So tell me how you feel inside. What's running through your mind? Why'd you come here today to talk to me? Well, I feel that it's totally wrong what I'm doing, and all these men around, they just, you know, just going after me, and I just, I, I'm just tired to deal with that, and I just need money. I don't know what to do. This is the only place where I can work because of my, you know, I have problems with English sometimes, and... It's, it's not my country, and yeah, I'm still learning how to live in the United States, and honestly, it's not that easy. I know what you mean, Natasha. I know what it feels like to feel like you're an outsider in the world. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. God's talking through me right now, and he says to me that you're a special woman. Not only do you have the face of an angel, the body of an angel, but you're also a one-woman man, baby. And I think you came here today for some special reason. I really need help from God. I need to find myself. You know, I'm, it's really difficult to be in the United States, and I just, I just don't know what to do, and that's why I'm here, and I feel feel very blessed that finally I did it, and I need some help from God. And of course, you represent God. You have to help me. You have to help me to find myself in the United States, to become somebody. Right, exactly. God, Natasha. God talks through me. He's showing me all of your insecurities, the way you hurt and sad at night, the way you cry, I know you cry. I cry too, because sometimes I feel like I don't meet God's standards, you know what I mean? And I got to preach to all these people about how they might be going to hell, but I hurt too, Natasha. I'm going to bring you to the light, Natasha. You're going to help me? I'm going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, what are you... <sighs> no, 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 that's just a ritual that we perform here in the Evangelical Church. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that, you just, you just licked me? No, no, Natasha, I saw a couple hairs out of place and you're such a beautiful... No, drink what? up, drink up, it's gonna be hold okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't believe that. Natasha, honey, what's wrong? Don't what, tell me. me. No, I think you're confused. I think you got a few things here confused. Damn, you're sexy, baby. But <laughs> I, no, I need to tell you, Natasha, you're, look here, it's the devil. It's the devil that's trying to get you to leave here today, Natasha. I can see him in your eyes. I can see him trying to grab a hold of your soul and drag you down to hell. Pastor, Pastor, I'm sorry. I think I have to leave. 
I figured out, you know. What yeah. did you figure out? Are I you... figured out everything. Thank you very much, you darling. You gonna be okay, baby? <laughs> I'm totally fine now. Great. Well, you, why don't you take your wine with you? Thank you. No. Thank you, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, I'm not then. thirsty. <laughs> Natasha, you come back, baby. Anytime you need, Bye, I'll just baby. drink this wine. Are you kidding? Perverts like this should get free condoms in the store. Or even better, a free vasectomy. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the very beginning.